What is up team? Welcome back to work and welcome back to day 16 of the DENSE program. We have a cardio workout on the books for today and we have our deadlift retest, the six minute uh, density retest. Let's hop into the warm up and uh, I'll walk us through our first little test here. We're starting off 20 jumping jacks, 20 seal jacks, 20 butt kicks. Just get loosened up here. And three, two, one, and go. Hey Ava, we're just getting into the warm up. Oh, we got somebody else hopping in. Everyone's running late on a Monday. Hey, Steph. We're just getting into the warm up here. 20 seal jacks, hands in front. And then 20 butt kicks. Bringing those heels up towards your butt, get those quads stretched out, loosened up. Now we're going straight into 10 body weight squats. Let's go overhead body weight squats. Thumbs pointed backwards, keep those elbows locked out. 10 reps. Then we're going 10 toe touches, feet closer together. It's gonna to mimic the deadlift, which we're gonna start off with. Push those hips back, low back stays flat, touch those toes. From there, we're gonna drop onto our backs. And we're gonna do 15 glute bridges. So on your back, knees bent, heels planted in the ground. And let's squeeze up 15 reps. Try to squeeze your glutes to the top. And hop up from there. And we're going 10 big arm circles forward, 10 reverse, 10 crosses, and let's jump into it. You're going to want to look up your score from last week for our dumbbell deadlifts, our six minute density set. We're going to try to either beat the reps, or if you got a lot of reps last week, you can increase the, the weight a little bit. If you got 70 to 70 plus reps, I would increase the weight. If not, try to stay with the same weight and increase the reps. Open up that chest and then crosses. All right, team, so six minutes on the clock. As many dumbbell deadlifts as you can do. Pick a weight that you can do 10 to 15 reps with at the start. Try not to get close to failure until the last minute or so. Always keeping quality over quantity. I'll walk you through a little technique demo again. You're starting a little bit closer together than you would on a squat. Toes pointed out a little bit. Shoulder blades back in together. From the side, slight bend in the knees. Push your butt back towards the wall. You wanna feel a nice stretch in the back of your leg and glutes. Don't bend the knees too much. You want your chest pointing towards the ground. Drive through the heels and stand back up. All the motion is coming through your hips and a slight bend of the knee. So your hips are pushing back towards the wall behind you. Your low back stays flat and you're focusing on using all the muscles of your backside to drive you back up. So you should feel this in the upper back because you're keeping that strong posture, low back, glutes, and hamstrings. I'm gonna stick with the same weight because it tends to be the low back that gives that easily. So take longer rest if you start to drop below five reps. And again, keep the quality of the reps high. Any questions, guys? We good? How's the music level? Good? Up a little bit? Right. Better? 
more. Alright, cool. Alright, so let's do it. We got a 10 second countdown. Six minutes on the clock. As many reps as you can get, team. Let's do it. Three, two, one, and work. Nice stretch. Drive back up. Take a nice 20, 25, 30 second break in between sets. Keep the reps on the higher end here uh, towards 10 per set. Take a little longer rest. Give myself a nice rest here. Go up to 40. Keep those abs turned on. those dumbbells close to your legs. Team. Don't let the form fade now.
Sometimes I make 15, 115 team. Come on. That's where we can start to push it a little bit closer to failure. Any pain or discomfort in the low back, besides just muscular pain, take a longer rest. Don't try to get too low. Thirty seconds. I'm gonna try not to set them down. The rest at the top. Hang in there, team. Last ten. Two. One. And rest, team. Woo! Keep track of your score, write it down, make sure. See how you did, this was our final retest. But we may repeat this program six months down the road, eight months down the road, so you want these numbers that we can reach, reach, uh, retest later on down the road. We got a three minute rest. Eventually I'll run out of ideas for new programs and we're repeating some of the things. Not exact workouts, but some uh, testing aspects. All right, team, so we're into the cardio portion of the workout. 45 second intervals, 15 seconds of rest. We have five movements we're gonna work our way through. We're starting off with a single leg deadlift to high knee body weight. So similar pattern to what we were just doing, except we're gonna be on one leg. The opposite leg goes back and out, acts as a counterbalance. So, slight bend on the right knee, Body square to the floor, hinging at the hips, driving up, bringing that knee high. So I'm from the front, it looks like this. Here, I'm on my right leg, left leg is off. Hinging, bending, driving the left knee up. Ideally, you can go right back into the next rep. This puts a lot of stress on the glute and hamstring. If you need to, you can set the foot down in between and balance yourself. If you're finding yourself falling over more than actually getting reps, you can hold on to a wall a post, a stick, something to balance you, because I'd rather have you doing the reps than falling over. So hold on to something if you need to. So we're gonna go 45 seconds right leg, 45 seconds left leg. Then we're going into skaters for 45 seconds. So on your mat, load up on one leg, drive through the heel to the toe, land on soft knee, back and forth. The, uh, the, um, the harder it gets, the further you go towards the end of your mat. So if you're doing big jumps, it's harder. As you get tired, you can shorten up the jumps Maybe just try to move a little faster. Then we go into bear crawls for the fourth movement. So we're down on our hands and knees. Knees off the ground about an inch. And you're gonna walk opposite hand, opposite foot, forward, and then backwards. Try not to take rests on this. It's only 45 seconds. And our final and fifth move is pull squats. So, all body weight. You're gonna get down as low as you can in your squat, come up only about three quarters of the way, and just stay in this mid-range here. Pulsing, trying to pull and push. So you're thinking about using your hamstrings and glutes to pull you down, and then quads, and, uh, quads to press you back up. So pull, push, pull, push. Those are our five movements, 45 seconds each, 15 rests between each movement, and 40 between rounds, three rounds through. Anybody have any questions? We got eight seconds, team, we're right into it. Get ready for your single leg deadlifts on the right leg to high knee. Two, and work. Touch, drive. Touch, this is good practice for the hip hinge. I'll show you from the front. That opposite leg stays basically in line with your upper body. It acts as a counterbalance. Squeeze and lock out the right leg at the top. So you're locking out the knee and squeezing the butt. Flex as hard as you can in that right loop. Take your time, just a little bit of balance, athleticism, core. Five, three, two, one, and rest. 
You should feel that all in the right glute and hamstring. We're doing the same thing on the left side now. Don't be afraid to use the wall or a couch or something to hold on to if you need to. Two, one, let's work. Touch. Don't feel like you need to go fast either. Just focus on that contraction at the top. Skaters team. Make sure your mat is stable, not wet and sweat. Jump as wide as you can until you're tired. Two, one. Load on soft. Drive through the heel. Hit back heel. It's gonna be a lot on the glutes for this first couple. Up if you need to. You were always taking time, baby. Come on. I was calling out to me. Woo! Five. Two. One. Press. Bear crawls, team. Down on those hands and knees. Knees off the ground about an inch. Three, one, and work. If you need to take a short break, set that knee down, keep that break short. down, never fully coming up and resting at the top. Feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed out. Two, one, work. Down, quarter of the way up. Think about push, pull. Pull, push. Pull, push. Let those knees track right in line with the toes. So my knees are going right over top of my toes. They're not collapsing in. Keep that chest up a little bit. Sam Ho, get that chest up. We ain't doing deadlifts. There you go. Woo! You can pause in the knee bent position at the top and need a little rest. Two, one, rest team. Oh, so that should be quads. First three movements are all glutes and hamstrings. Bear crawls and that are more quads. Bear crawls are arms too. Core. 45 seconds, scheme. See if you can move a little better this round. Nice deep breaths in and out of the nose. Try to drive that heart rate down. Mine's at like 150. Whew. 12 seconds, single leg deadlift, right leg, in five, three, one, and work, a high knee, grip the ground with that right foot.
Come on. Two, one, and rest. Left leg, same deal. Three, two, one, and work. team jump as wide as you can to keep the momentum up and keep the speed going three two one and work land on nice soft knees there. absorb that impact and then explode absorb explode Team. Today is not a long workout, so let's push it a little bit. We only have one more circuit after this. Let's make showing up on a Monday worthwhile. Twenty seconds, team. Nice deep breath in and out of the nose. Single leg deadlift to high knee. Left leg coming up. Or right leg, sorry. Sorry. Three. Last round through. One. And work.
15 seconds. Come on. Lock out that right leg and squeeze the leg at the top. Three, two, one. And rest, team. Left leg. Seven seconds. Get ready to work. Three, two, one. And work. Seconds. Five seconds of work, 15 rest, same exact thing. We only got three moves here though. Our first move is a floor touch to jump squat. So you're in your squat stance, maybe a little bit narrower than you were for those pulses. You're going down, touching the floor, exploding. Touch, jump, touch, 
jump. So we're getting a little deeper in the squat. Keep that chest vertical. Jump as high as you can. Land on soft knee in the next movement. From there, we're dropping down into our push-up position. And we're doing push-ups into pikes. So, standard push-up, pike up. Creating an upside down V, pushing with the shoulders and then coming back to a plank, push-up. Push pike. Legs can have a slight bend. Try to keep the elbows locked out and push using your abs and shoulders to lift you up. You can modify to knee push up. If you need to, then drop the toes and pike and then drop back down to the knees. But try to do as many regular push ups as you can if you're still building up that strength. Then from there, you're gonna need, you're gonna need a single dumbbell, preferably a pretty light one. I might do like a 20, you could do a 10 or 15. And we're gonna do dumbbell jacks. So dumbbells held sideways like so. Feet jump wide like a jumping jack. You land with it over your head and then back down. So it looks like this. Elbows are in tight. Jump wide. The body, the lower body is basically doing a jumping jack. And you're doing a push press essentially with the upper body with one dumbbell. There you go, Steve. Looks beautiful. We got 50 seconds, team. 40 seconds to rest in each round. Any questions about those three movements? Floor tap, squat jump, push up into pike. Dumbbell jacks. I'm gonna give you guys the full 35 because I want you to give it everything you got in this last round. Like I said, today is short. So let's push the intensity a little bit. At the end of each of these 45 seconds, should feel like your legs giving out. Arms are giving out. You're gonna have a full 45 seconds rest between rounds. Oh, 40 seconds rest, sorry, left. 15 seconds, team. Floor tap to squat jump coming up. Keep that chest vertical as much as you can. Of course, you have to lean over a little bit, but you want to be able to explode right into a vertical jump. Three, two, one, and work. Bend those knees, Steve. There you go. Drop that butt. Keep that chest up. Come on. 15 seconds. 10, team. 5, 3, 2, 1. Rest. Woo. Push up in the pike. 10 seconds. Two, one, and work. Use something pretty light. Something you're not gonna have to take too many breaks with. Three, one, work. Push it, three, two, one, rest, woo, I'm 
might have to drop to 15 on that. That hurt. You gotta take three or more breaks. Go a little lighter if you can. Oh, oh hurry, it's at like 170. Those three are. How you guys feeling after that? That was tough. 10 seconds, team, come on. Floor touch, squat jump. Let's go, we got two more rounds, hang in there with me. Three, two, one. Work. Keep that chest vertical. Jump. Thirty. Seven, three, two, one, rest. Push ups in the pipes. Five, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Three, two, one, work. Breaks are okay, just keep them short. One, two, breath. Right back into it. Modify to the knees if you need to. 10. Two, one, rest. 15 seconds. Woo! Dumbbell jacks coming up. Four, two, one, and work. Woo, 25 team. Twelve seconds. Oh. Two. One. Press. Forty seconds. Woo! Ah, damn, Ben, you're pushing me out there, killing it. I like it. We got one more round, team. Deep breaths. I'm gonna shut up and try to get my heart rate down. 12. Let's finish this shit strong, come on. Floor touch, jump. Three, one, and work. Come on. <sighs> Quad team. Three, two, one. Press. Push up the pipe. Woo! Five, three, 
two. And work. Finish strong. Three, one, and work. paper. <laughs> awesome work team. That is it for today. You guys kick ass on a Monday. Thank you. I'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. Have an awesome rest of your Monday guys. Thank you. See you tomorrow.